Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekend reading, or as we like to call it, the next 48. <laughs> God. Every time I say that, it makes me laugh. So, here we're going to talk about the incoming energies, just like the daily reading, but just a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more, Pisces, and keep in mind that all of the energy that we're moving through is, ta is talking a lot about relationships. We're dealing a lot with relationships right now with relationships, with wounds, it's retrograde season. So, you know, especially if there are past things that need to be resolved, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we're doing it. So, if you um, like this, please like and subscribe, and I so much appreciate all of the new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. And personal readings are always available. You can see that in the description. So let's get to it, Pisces. Pisces, you are like shining bright, Pisces. And I kind of feel too, and I saw it in your last reading, there's really a sense of doing the internal work. You've been doing the internal work, honestly. Um, so let's see what's going on. Cornucopia. Nothing but blessings for you. Nothing but good things coming in your life. And I kept hearing that this one thing you're doing, and I feel like this maybe involves another person, like resolving this for another person, with another person, or just at the core, opening your heart is literally Pisces. It's getting you everything you want. It's key, so even if it's like money you want, I don't know. This is like, it's all of a sudden you start getting everything you want. Because cornucopia isn't just about love, it's just like everything. But I do feel like you may have been thinking about love, um, and really kind of specifically a person, okay? <laughs> um, if it if it isn't specifically a person, it's love in general, and that you've really been doing things necessary, but I don't, I also feel like a, a duality within you, like opening yourself up to it, and a little, a twinge of fear as well. Okay, so let's get to it, Pisces. And cornucopia is all about, you know, good things are just flowing into your life. And you, I feel like you've been worried that it was never going to happen. Because the Nine of Swords is here. So you may have been worried about things um, coming together. Um, and I also was hearing, it, like, specifically if you've been wanting to... Um, come together with someone specific you've kind of been worried that it it was maybe too late okay it was too late but it's not Pisces <laughs> let me just tell you on the bottom of the deck is the ace of swords and the ten of cups you've got an opportunity here Pisces and you know with the sword pointing up you know you're receiving information um that there's a possibility here to turn this around to to be emotionally fulfilled ten of cups happily ever after i mean as much as happily can ever be after right <laughs> just saying but you are there's a conversation possibly but i feel like it's just you you know you have the opportunity here to to get the ten of cups to get everything you want, to be, you know, it usually speaks of love, definitely, um, but it's also being fulfilled, getting what your heart desires passes. So, I feel like you've been um, door to spirit, like you're aligned with it. You maybe have been praying for it, right? Um, Knight of Cups, and and really. Because I, I feel like what you're deciding is to make a real investment. Um, it And this could have been with someone you didn't make a real investment with in the past. Like, you, you have history together. You, you made somewhat of an investment, right, with the Seven of Pentacles. But, you know, not a whole investment, okay? <laughs> not a whole investment. 
because you it may have been in and out and this could also be the other person and you know like I feel like that's changing because of the door to spirit opening um, and here's your sacral chakra second chakra Archangel Ariel 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 I will tell you what <laughs> it's like there's no more holding back no more holding back with the world you know um, the sacral chakra like oh, how do I put this <laughs> it's your sensuality it's the sex chakra as well it is um, emotions it's being open to love and you know all of the things that you know there's just this feeling of no more holding back you know I don't know if your your second chakra is ready to burst or what um but anyway but there's definitely a new cycle right and there's definitely a new cycle that has a better foundation because we succeed with the world man we succeed and I feel like you just there's no more holding back period period and you're getting yin yang again this is definitely bringing something into balance um and you know what you you gave it a whole lot of thought i mean i don't feel like you're going into this lightly and i feel like this is you pisces because the page of cups is right underneath it you gave a real a whole lot of thought to whether this was what your heart wanted is this what your heart wants right um so you don't like come into this lightly um, you may enter into it in, like, ease into it, especially if this is a person. Like, believe it or not, you, like, you may message them, right, or talk to them. And remember that energies can always be reversed, so this could also be this person doing this with you. There's a sense of easing into it, even though you know exactly what you're doing, Okay or they know exactly what they're doing there is a plan at hand this was well thought out but you know we got to test the waters and see you know see see what temperature the water is and i feel like that's exactly what happens on the bottom is the empress okay a lot of manifesting page of pentacles five of swords and the two of wands I feel like the Five of Swords is talking about determination. Like, there's a determination to make this happen. You know, the Empress is about growth. It's about planting seeds. It's about opening up to love, right? It's about healing. It's all of those things. And you've decided that that's what's going to happen. And pretty much that nothing is going to stand in your way. Okay? Um, now, you know, I will say this. The two of wands, sometimes there is, I feel like you're just you or the other person, keep that in mind. Like, just thinking, and I really feel like this is you, Pisces. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so let me just say that. But there's a plan at hand, a well thought out plan, but failure is not even being considered because you've figured it out with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. You have figured out what needs to be done. Wow. Wow. Um, because this is what your heart wants. King of Cups. Four of Cups and Temperance. I mean, you could have had, you know, specifically if, if this is about reconciling with a person. There. You just, I don't know, Pisces. It wasn't always easy, right? There, that definitely deals with, you know, missed opportunities and disappointment. But you know the time is now. And Four of Swords and the Death card. Not waiting anymore. <laughs> Someone's not waiting. Someone's not waiting. It could be your person. So, you know, like I said, remember the energies can be reversed. Take this as this resonates for you. You know. Wow. Wow. So impressive. Yeah. <laughs> so I know this was all about love pretty much, but 
I still did pull some cards for um, things taking place in your love life. Now, I do think there has been some work being done, Pisces. Now, Triggers is here with Roller Coaster, Wish, Trash, Pretending, Crushed, Poison, and Coming Together. So, this definitely has to do with coming together with someone, but there was also a lot that needed to be done. And I don't feel like it... I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like you, you have been cleaning some stuff up. Okay, so... You know, triggers and roller coaster. I, I just feel like you have been dealing with some drama and some fake people in your life. I really do. Um, because we're seeing throwing out the trash, fake, um, crushed, <laughs> and, and poison. I feel like there were some people in your life that you turned out to be fake. I don't really believe that you expected them to be this way. And so, you know, as much as you hoped for this, Pisces, right? Because you, this is definitely with, you know, door to spirit. You probably were praying for all this bullshit to end, right? <laughs> because you were definitely dealing with some, some things you had to throw out in the trash, right? Uncovering fake people. And I feel like this, I feel like this hurt you because I feel like you didn't expect it. I feel like you may have found out that some people were fake in your life which I don't know, but I think it made you appreciate this person because I don't think this person, this is someone you have a soul contract with and it could be that you were meant to choose them, right? But all of this other business has to be taken care of before you can come together, before this can happen. You know, um, it may be like, it could be starting this weekend, you know, you could be bringing this into balance. You could still be taking out the trash so that this can happen. Um, but wow. <laughs> wow, Pisces. So I'm going to take a look and see where this is all leading you. And then we're going to, you know, get, see what you need to focus on and see what your sign is from the universe. And hopefully y'all are staying. And, and this makes sense right now because we're in the Lionsgate portal. And that's about manifesting. So let's see where this all of this shiznit is leading you, Pisces. Where is this leading Pisces? I'll tell you it's beautiful. It definitely is. Where is this leading Pisces? Where is this leading Pisces? Where is this leading Pisces? Ooh, movement, eight of wands. It's gonna happen quicker than you think. Where is this leading Pisces? Rest up, Pisces. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ew. That's the Queen of Swords about Pisces. Why the Queen of Swords? Oh. I feel like this person has been waiting for you, Pisces. I feel like they've been waiting for you to do something. Knight of Cups is on the bottom with the world. Five of Swords again. And the Empress. Yeah, I feel like um, even though you you may not be talking to this person right now with their sword pointing down and right behind the Three of Pentacles, I feel like this person is waiting for you. Um, so the Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords is pretty much telling you that the time, you know, this is an unexpected change movement is going to happen and to rest up Pisces. <laughs> 
to rest up, right? To rest up because with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, um, I feel like this person, I feel like you're going to be putting work into this, right? Working together. And I fe also feel like, especially with the Four of Swords being here, like whoever it is that's taking action here, whether it's you or whether it's your person, the time for rest is over. Like the time for thinking about it is, is done. It's time now to put in the work and I feel like that's happening. And I feel like it's what this person has been waiting for. Like they've been waiting for you to come talk to them. Um, and believe it or not, you may have believed this person left, but Five of Pentacles is sideways, meaning they left a little bit, not the whole way. You know, so they're here to hear what you have to say Ooh. or vice versa. <laughs> and I keep feeling like I need to say that, which is really weird. So I think it's kind of unclear whether this is your energy or the other person's. I kind of think it's yours, you know, but anyways, um, I feel like you've been building up to this Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman with the Two of Cups. Wow. I feel like you've been building up to this. I feel like what needed to happen is you needed to see it differently. Um, and you needed to be able to see that it could grow and be able to see that it could change. And that may have required some change from you. Um, and there is definitely a sense that you feel like this is faded. Yeah, there was something you needed to find out. Like you needed to figure out if this could work. And you know, Or would it fall apart, right? <laughs> or would it fall apart? The tower with the four of cups and the king of cups. But I feel like you feel, or, you know, if this is whoever's taking the action feels as if they've waited long enough. Okay, what will be will be. Let it all burn. <laughs> okay, Pisces, that's nice. That is nice. I feel like you have had the same story that just continued all week. <laughs> Definitely every and the the wonderful thing about it is that you know, cornucopia isn't just one thing. So, once this starts to go your way, it's telling you that literally everything is. So, yes. So let's see what you need to focus on, Pisces. What does Pisces need to focus on in the next 48 hours? Pisces. What does Pisces need to focus on? Oh, okay. <laughs> Foresight. See the big picture. And you're, I feel like that is really true. Like you have been spending a lot of time thinking about the future. And I feel like you wanted to see what you saw in your future. And you needed to see if this person could be in your future. For sure. Anything else for Pisces? Oh. Surrender. And you are. You are. You, I, I kind of feel like maybe you know that that's what needed to happen, you know, but it could have been difficult because you could have been so uber focused on the future. Clear out the clutter. Oh, you're doing that. <laughs> you're doing that, Pisces. So let's see your sign. What is Pisces sign? Hmm? Pisces sign. This could be, you could see these numbers or these objects and it could just be, you know, oh, okay, I saw that. So this is coming. All right. It's like your head's up from the universe. 
I have one card for Pisces. Oh, oh, Pisces, you got a lot. Wow. <laughs> you got giraffe again. So, so much about the seeing the big picture. So, that's about seeing everything, right? See the big picture about what is available to you. 222, two, two, which is also a soulmate number. Don't worry, you are where you're supposed to be. It is also telling you, you know, to stop worrying. <laughs> um, 1177, Pat, you're on the right path toward your soul mission. And 444, you are being guided and protected at this time. So your path is literally protected. If you are afraid that you're doing the wrong thing, and if you say, like, you sit there and you think, oh, gosh, should I talk to this person? I don't know if it's the right thing to do. And then all of a sudden you see 444 um, or 222, just know, oh, okay, let me send that message. <laughs> and also this weekend I'm going to do something for um, Mercury and Virgo, the transit, and, and for the full moon, so. Yes. I hope this helps Pisces Toodles.